Today I will show you how to make expression shakes. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so we can start by pressing Ctrl Y to make a new adjustment layer. And I actually like to press Ctrl Shift D and just delete this part out. And let's go to like to the ending of like our clip, you know, and press Ctrl Shift D to delete that as well. So yeah, let's just basically have it for one clip because that's gonna be for our shake. And the first effect I like to add here is motion tile. Here it's important to press on mirror edges and you can make the output height basically like whatever. I guess just make it higher, but I like to make it like 300 and the output width also to like 300. That's just so we don't see like edges when it shakes, you know. Now we can add transform. And here is basically the fun part, I guess like for the expression shake because you actually need like expressions here. So for this part, I like to kind of like keyframe position and also the rotation. And now what I like to do is hold alt and press on the rotation one and it will take us right here. And this is basically like a code. So I actually want to delete this code. And in the description of the video, I should have linked some codes here. So one is going to be for rotation. So you can copy it and press control V like copy down and here it's gonna be like a code like the first line is like how many shakes do you want and basically you can set like your frequency like 10 fade time start amplitude like end like amplitude like how it's gonna be like after it ends now this is kind of like a short fade time like it's just gonna last for 0.3 seconds so you can like make it longer or I don't know how much you want and yeah there's just basically some code here blah 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 you know the boring stuff and yeah you can exit it out in the description I also have linked a position code so for the position you also want to hold alt and press on position and here i just want to press ctrl v and like copy down the code that i linked and the main difference here in the code is i in the amplitude there's no times zero point something because i want the full amplitude here and now we can also press on the motion blur button and now it's gonna shake like this we already have like a cool shake here so if you want like and you have no plugins at all like you can just save this right while you're right here and just use it wherever you want but if you guys actually have plugins we can do more but actually one more thing without plugins you can do and this is just a little neat trick i like to use is I like to add another effect called offset and I like to make it go up on everything and here let's keyframe the shift to center to nothing and go one frame forward here and I like to make it like just go to the side like somewhere here and let's go one frame forward and here let's turn it back to 960 so basically it's just gonna be one frame of this and that's what I really like to do oh yeah and another thing I like to do is actually go to transform and uncheck this like use composition shutter here I like to go make the shutter angle to 200. But now if you have actually plugins, we can add more. So like we can add S dissolve shake. And here at the start, we can make the dissolve percentage to 25. Also keyframe it. And I like to make the frequency to 12 and also the mobler length to 0.3. Now guys, the more plugins we add, the more this is gonna lag. So just be careful with this, okay? And now this is gonna be a pretty laggy effect. BTC lens blur OBS. Now for this, you need to have the BTC. For the other, you have to have like a uh, sapphire. And here I like to go to quality and make it to sharper and also the gamma i like to increase it to 800 uh here at the start i like to make the iris scale to zero and keyframe it and we'll come back to it later a bit and now we can add exposure this is also no plugins guys oh yeah sorry and yeah we can make the exposure to 1.02 and keyframe it at the start to that size and we can also add s flicker this does require a plugin and i start I like to make the amplitude to 0.47 and also keyframe that press u to see like every keyframe that we made and here we can really just mess around one thing we can do for example is like go to transform and here we have like the scale at 100 so like let's go to one frame forward and here we can make it like whatever like just a bit higher so maybe like 115 so it's gonna be like a little pump and yeah we can place like the ending scale to whatever like to like 100 the, yeah press u again because we need to see that keyframe as well oh yeah here it is the scale select all of the scale keyframes that we made right here press f9 go to the graph editor and here you can just like make the graph maybe like i guess like this that's pretty cool all right that's a lot of keyframes that we have right now and now here we can do a lot so we can go to let's say iris scale and here we can make it to 10 but then we can go like uh two frames forward i guess maybe here and make it to zero then go like one frame forward and make it to five then like two or something frames forward and make it to zero and then the one frame forward and make it to like two basically just do whatever the hell you want and go up a bit further and just make it to zero yeah like it's just gonna this is gonna have like these little blurs i i don't know you, you will see when you try it with the exposure i like to go to one frame like after it and just make like entirely like lower to like maybe even like almost a minus 
here we can go and make it a bit higher like this and then go a bit uh, here and just uh, set it back to normal I guess like zero and the S flicker also we can make like to 0 0.05 at the ending and also yeah we can uh, press F9 while selecting them maybe go to the graph editor I don't legit set whatever like that I, I guess I'm just doing basically whatever the hell I want right now uh, like we can go to the S dissolve shape and like at the ending like this is the ending we can make the S dissolve shape to like zero and uh, select both the keyframes you know press f9 go to the graph editor and here just make it something like this yeah this is gonna be a crazy shape guys you can mess around with other keyframes that we made uh basically do whatever and if you guys want to save this as a preset you can go to one of the effects press ctrl a go to animation save animation preset and here i can call like x Expression shake. I call this shake effect and press save. And whenever you want to add it, you'll just go to effects and presets, type expression shake, and you'll be able to add it. But if you guys want more of these like add ons on it, you know, to get out of the shake, I guess, uh, you can use like flicker effects. And for that, I actually have a flicker presets pack on my poikos.com website. So if you have the flicker piece back, you can press control to Y. Yeah, you can cut the adjustment layer like this. And let's go until the next clip. And here I have like really insane effects. What I really like is the flicker darkness glow V2. Now this is how it look when you add it instantly, but let's press U and actually just move the keyframes out of the way, like just like that. I just want to have it like this. And at the start, I like to press T. I'm going to make the opacity keyframe go like here, like the 100. And here I like to make the opacity to 32. Now this is going to make like a cool purple effect, like the more you go, the the more purple it gets it's like a purple ghost surrounded effect yo i don't know how to say it and it works very well in motion like this you know to be honest the 100 could be even here yeah that's how it looks on 100 and it's just gonna flicker its way down and you can also go to the next clips and you can press ctrl y and yeah you can of course cut it up a bit and what i really like to do is i like to take some of the flicker heavy effects so like for example flicker heavy one and with this effect, I like to just press Ctrl D on the adjustment layer to duplicate it because this is going to be one of the most insane flickers ever. This is going to flicker very much on the clips. And it also has this RGB, which I really like. And I really love adding different flicker heavies together or different flicker effects just together, like basically whatever together. Uh, flicker heavy four is also really insane to add on flicker heavy one or just by itself, to be honest. It's already a really heavy flicker effect. And I have plenty of more of these effects in the flicker pieces pack. So if you guys want to check it out, I also have a five dollar discount code which is called Povicas. you can use it to save five dollars off on the flicker pieces pack but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya